In a worrying development, 26 sailors of the Indian Navy have tested positive for the coronavirus. The Navy says that the infection has been sourced to one sailor and all of the sailors have been quarantined in a naval hospital. These sailors were serving at the INS Angre, which is a shore-based kind of naval barracks, as it were, providing logistical support to the entire domain of the Western Naval Command. To explain a little bit more about uh, what the Navy might be thinking at this moment, what are the precautions it will have to take, what its worries will be, we're joined now by Captain D.K. Sharma. He's, of course, a senior naval officer and retired as the public relations officer of the Navy. Thanks, sir. Great to be on with you. Sir, so just explain to our viewers who may not understand what the INS Angre is. We know it's a logistic support. We know it's kind of like the mothership of the area, but it's not at sea. I'm saying it very simply for lay people who are not from a military background. They need to understand what the where this is happening. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, INS Angre is a base establishment. And a base establishment uh, where I say that we have the Western Naval Command over there. We have all the ships and submarines. Now, in case, uh, uh, to explain it to the viewers, that if a ship has gone to sea and the sailors who belong to those ship, if they have to proceed on leave, say, tomorrow or day after, or somebody is coming, ex leave. So he needs a place to go. Hmm. So this is our mother base. Hmm. Mother base and uh, uh, this kind of a mother base is in all the three commands as well as in Delhi. So hmm. INS Angre is the mother establishment which looks after all the administrative as well as logistic support of the naval officers and sailors born in the municipal limits of Mumbai. It's a huge place which looks after the, you know, the, the ration, the, the salaries, the TY duties, the temporary duties, the courses. Go, and uh, also, if you recollect, should there be a HADR situation, or should uh, there be a situation we need to, uh, where we need to send people? So this is the pool of people which are you know, mustered from various ships and are kept here and are used accordingly without touching the operational tempo of the ships or the submarines. So it is a very, very important base, but has got nothing to do with the ships and submarines. So insofar as the, you know, the concern of people is concerned, yes, Indian Navy has also been taken by surprise. We have, uh, in fact, before going for the lockdown on the 24th, we, uh, I, I have been made to understand that very, very stringent precautions and orders were issued from naval headquarters. And also, you know, uh, and we have gone beyond the, the protocol of ICMR. So if you ask me that what kind of social distancing and what kind of precautions were being taken on board, or in our bases, we have we have gone the extra mile because uh, we know it uh, how dangerous the situation can be. And Barkha, I must tell you at this place, at this juncture, that Indian Navy has done much, much, much better than all the navies of our size. It's unfortunate that one sailor, and let me tell you, he's still asymptomatic. Mm. Yes, he developed some symptoms, and uh, there uh, went the alarm bells. That, uh, you know, uh, this happened on the 7th and the moment, uh, th and we were already in lockdown from the 24th. So, uh, very, very aggressive uh, contact tracing is going on and yeah. what has happened, where all he has been. But as a matter of principle, the whole base, that is Anas Angre, was quarantined. We went into the highest, uh, you know, kind of uh, precautionary stage. Right. And when this guy, uh, on the 7th, we got to know about him. And by 11th, when we came to know that he is positive, we had already taken all the actions on the 9th of April. But unfortunately, yes, uh, we have uh, some asymptomatic cases. And yes, as you have rightly said, they have been transferred to INS Ashwani, that is our hospital. But, uh, but the fact is that the hidden enemy has struck. So let me ask you, you said uh, very importantly that this is, uh, you know, uh, uh, nothing to do with submarines, aircraft carriers, with, with warships. And that's very important. But since this is the mothership for logistics in the Western Naval Command and, uh, you know, all the other ships and key uh, sort of installations of the Navy are just a few hundred meters away. 
uh, and the whole area is now in a way a containment zone. Is there a worry in the Navy that these infected sailors may have wandered around in that area, may have interacted with other sailors who serve on aircraft? No, no, no. no. I, I'll, I'll tell you that from 24th onwards, there was no way a, a sailor or an officer who is not serving on board that ship was allowed to go there. There was a very, very strict protocol being put out by the fleet commander, the CNC, on the instructions of the chief of the naval staff. And also, you have seen the prime minister coming up. That, yeah. you know, the only thing which we can you know, do now for the betterment of the community is to remain away. Yeah. Maintain that distance. So what we have done is the ships, the submarines, they were not accessible to anybody. And right. also in the dockyard, which you have seen thousands of people come and work, we have stopped only the most essential people who are required on a job to job requirement. They are given a call, a vehicle goes. And by the way, the vehicle also which is going, when it enters the naval dockyard is being disinfected. Then this man goes through a protocol. And if he goes to the ship, he has to be with a proper PPE, yeah. the mask, the gloves, and uh, you name it. We just can't afford it. And uh, that is what the point is. That that uh, uh, I can tell you with a lot of authority has been taken well care of. Okay. That's very reassuring to know. But I have one question. What would the Navy be worried about, most worried about right now? We are worried about, uh, you know, the, this, the time lag between 7th to Ooh. 11th. What has happened? Where all he has been? So, uh, for that, uh, people were told, people have downloaded the Arogya Setu app. Very, very aggressive testing is going on now. Very, very aggressive contact tracing is going on. And uh, we are just, uh, you know, hoping that it is restricted to what we have now locked down that place. But, uh, uh, you know, the ships which were at sea, they have not come back. The patrolling is going on. So, insofar as the operational tempo of the Navy is concerned, I can, you uh, know, I'm, 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 Telling you, through you to the nation, that there has been no effect on it. The surveillance sorties are going on. The coastal security patrols are happening. Anti-piracy patrols are happening. The deployments in the Malacca and uh, below the Sri Lankan, you know, waters. All that is happening. Yes, it is a little setback, and uh, which the CNS himself addressed the whole uh, Navy through a video on the 7th of April. That it is a huge challenge for us, and it is not going to go away soon. So all these protocols, all these precautions and all this social distancing and, you know, maintaining the highest kind of hygiene is a thing in order. And I'm, I'm sure that the Navy and all the people who are listening through your medium yeah. will uh, at least follow this protocol. Now, um, I'm, I'm so glad to hear and I know our viewers will be that the operational uh, uh, sort of momentum of the Navy has not been disturbed in any way whatsoever. I have one last question. We have seen across the world, and I think you made this point in the beginning, that the Indian Navy has done much better uh, than some other navies in other countries, uh, you know, who are in the same league. And we saw, for example, on board uh, America's uh, Theodore Roosevelt, more than 600 U.S. Um, naval officers, uh, naval sailors infected. And we also saw a huge controversy when the commander uh, of that particular aircraft carrier was accused of breaking the chain of command and he was actually withdrawn from duty. What should we be taking away? Uh, Barka, uh, that's a very, very sensitive topic which you have brought in. Over there, the captain was very clear that he is not at war. Yeah. So he wanted that his people should be immediately uh, evacuated or uh, uh, put into a place where there is a social uh, distancing. Yeah. And you know it, you have, uh, you have been to various ships yeah. and uh, what kind of a, a space is there in an aircraft carrier? People are rubbing shoulders. There is a 5,000 strong crew on board. And over there, the primacy is only operations. There is no uh, way you know, remain three feet, six feet apart. And, you know, uh, in the messes or in the toilets or in the, in the places where you're working, there is just no way that, you know, you, you can't be touching each other. So, uh, in, uh, and also, so his worry at that point in time was that we should abandon the mission and yeah. immediately, you know, man the ship with a skeletal crew of 10%, but uh, remove everybody. And yeah. now you see he himself is in quarantine. Yeah. His sailors are in under quarantine and one of he has lost one of his men. And it is not in one ship. Four aircraft carriers, unprecedented. They are down. I think we have done much better. Absolutely. And uh, uh, I hope that in touch with 
that we go strong on this and we overcome this problem.